So guys, today is the day. It's like 70 degrees in New York. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a teaser. Look at that week or so ago. So check it out. It comes in a nice little yellow satin case. And this is actually gonna be really interesting because I've never ever waxed a car with my bare hands before. So we're gonna be doing the Zymol Ital on the Ferrari F355. I just gave the entire car an auto fanatic waterless wash and I actually have a version of waterless wash that has no film or polymer protection in it, just a cleaning blend. And then I went over it with the Zymol HD cleanse. I did the whole car and I actually shot some video clips just to show you guys a little bit of a process. It's like an all natural exfoliating uh, compound made with apricot shells and all natural oils. And it just wants to clean the paint and get everything off. So gonna get, get started now. This is gonna be a full day wax job. It's gonna be a really long video. So hang tight. You guys are gonna love this one. See you soon. All right, guys. So as you see here, I'm going over all the panels on the car very diligently with the Auto Fanatic waterless wash. Now, the particular waterless wash that I've used, I have a couple of formulas that I worked on. This particular formula does not have any protection polymers in it because this system that I want to do on the car today, the Zymol Ital with the Zymol HD Cleanse, I want to have the most virgin clean slate on the single stage Ferrari paint. So I pretty much just went over the car and the towels that I'm using uh, to do the waterless wash are the Griot's Garage light blue edgeless microfiber. These have a little bit of a longer nap. They do a pretty good job, but if the car is really, really dirty, like if you have a lot of dirt and caked on mud on the bottom of the cars, I recommend using a different weave pattern because these longer types of microfiber weaves will tend to push the dirt around. You could also risk scratching. So considering this car just has dust from being in the garage, also having the garage open, blowing the leaves outside, we just want to make sure that there's no dust on the car because the single stage PPG paint from the 90s is very, very soft and you have to be very careful with it. So it scratches easily. You want to make sure your towels are clean. You want to constantly change the towel whenever you're doing any kind of paint correction or any kind of full detail, especially on a, on a classic car, even though this is not a classic car, like 50 year old car, it's still almost a 30 year old car and it has single stage old paint that we're trying our best to preserve. So the whole goal, whenever you're gonna do a detail on any older car that has soft single stage paint, you really wanna preserve it. This is all about preservation. You, you're gonna get micro scratches. There's gonna be issues in the paint over age that you're not gonna be able to get out. And that just comes with ownership of an older car and something with single stage paint. Because if you constantly go and attack the paint with a polisher and compounds and make it perfect, as soon as you drive the car or something could fall on it, you're gonna introduce those scratches and the more paint that you wear away over 10, 15, 20, 30 years, eventually you're gonna burn through the paint and you're gonna have nothing there but white marks and it's gonna look horrible. So, you know, I'm all about the preservation and that's really why I wanna show this system on the channel and do something very, very different. And I have not used a Zymol product in about 30 years. I remember, you know, I always had owned black cars growing up and my specialty was always detailing black cars, especially even vintage cars. So, you know, with the Zymol, it would always give a really good pop and a really good glow. And I always liked the aroma of it, the ease of application, and also the ease of removing it. Now, over time, I learned it doesn't give you the longevity and the protection of other products. Like what I like to use is Colonite 915 and, you know, a couple of other stuff. And back in the days, I used to use a Malco Imperial wax, which was one of my favorite waxes as well as the Colonite 915 and the other blends that Colonite makes. But like I said, in this particular case, I don't want to use something that has any kind of petroleum distillate base, nothing with a solvent. That's why I'm using the mildest waterless wash system that I've created, you know, for my brand. And this should be out probably in the next couple of months or possibly in the spring of 2021. I'm using the uh, Zymol HD Cleanse. Now, this is a blend of natural oils and pulverized apricot shells. The apricot shells act as an exfoliant and a very, very mild abrasive. So what you wanna do with this and what this product is, is designed for is almost as a pre-cleaner for the paint. You wanna remove any of the dead paint, especially on single stage paint cars, and you wanna remove any contaminants because you don't wanna go in there and start digging into the paint with clay and then you're gonna to have to go and polish it and everything else. So just take your time like I show you in this video, you're gonna do panel per panel. You're gonna to wanna to apply it with a clean microfiber towel, like, um, wax pad like I'm showing you, in a circular pattern, you could go straight either or. The whole point is you want to make full contact 
with all the painted surfaces with light even pressure and you want to constantly check the pad. Now, if the pad gets heavily contaminated, like I show you throughout the process, I then go back and I'll use the back side of the pad or I'll switch up and I will get a new pad because you don't want to mess around with reintroducing contaminants on soft single stage paint. These are called the Zymol Micro Wipes. These are made of a woven blend of polyester and polyamide. And believe it or not, those are the same two components that are in the tires that are on any of your vehicles. So now most of the dirt and contamination that will collect on a Ferrari 355, even a Ferrari Testarossa 348, most of those cars is gonna be coming out of the back rear tailgate area. Now the reason for that is because there's air that's flowing in through the doors and it's gonna exit through the rear buttress area through these vents in the rear deck. So what happens is a lot of stuff gets built up under there and you wanna spend a lot of time doing the waterless wash, especially towards that rear wraparound window and all these little vents and also around the emblem. You wanna make sure you get all the dirt off and get all the contamination because when that contamination settles, that's where if it gets so bad, it can actually dig into the paint and you won't get it off with a, with a simple method like this. If the car is trashed, you're gonna to have to go in there and do a paint correction. Then always measure the mills as you do a process like that. And I'll show that in an upcoming video as well. So also the roof of the car is also very prone on any of these cars of collecting a lot of contamination. And you wanna make sure that every single panel is as clean as you could possibly get it. And you can see here, there's some dead paint on the Zymo micro, micro wipes. And that just shows you that the little bit of abrasive component of the Zymol HD Cleanse is gonna get some of that oxidation off the paint. And that's what you want. You don't wanna put wax, you don't wanna put a sealant or a glaze over oxidized paint. That's the worst thing you're gonna to wanna to do. And that's why when you polish out a single stage car, the polishing pads make a total mess because they cloud up and turn red. So usually whenever I do a polishing job on a vintage car or something with a single stage paint, I will dedicate when I do it for a customer at least 10 pads of each grade. The car is pretty much ready to roll. We're finally going over the passenger side right now. And like I said, there was a couple of smudges that I couldn't see. So I brought the car back inside the garage. I started doing this process outdoors. I did the waterless wash all outdoors because I wanted the sun to hit the car and I wanted to make sure I had good natural light to get all the dirt and contamination off the paint. And then when I started doing the HD cleanse, I said, you know what, let's just bring it inside. I don't want to bake the paint too hard and I want to keep everything nice and cool so when we apply the wax, we're gonna use the heat from my hands to naturally break down the wax in a container, and we're gonna level it out with my bare hands, and then we're gonna buff it out to a high gloss shine. Then when I'm done with the process, I'm gonna pull the car out. The sun's gonna probably kick down a little bit in a couple of hours, and I'll give you guys some good wrap around. Everything's gonna be shot in 4K, and you guys are gonna see the color correction is gonna stay flat. I'm not gonna change anything. I'm not gonna do any color grading. So what you're gonna see in this video is naturally shot 4K, 60 frames per second, out of the camera with no retouching and no filters, nothing else. And guys that follow my channel know from the red GT350, when I do the detailing content on a red car, it just looks absolutely like melted wax. Now, according to them, this product does not become a wax until it oxygenates onto the paint of your car. So another interesting thing too, is that this container was specifically designed to keep air out and it's got a rubber o-ring seal really nice container i always love these containers back in the in the, in the days so there it is it's kind of in a semi-solid form and i'm just touching it with my bare hands it's got an amazing aroma you can see that there so my hands are dry from all the stuff that i work on every week you know with chemicals and fabrication so you can see that there so this is going to be a really cool process because they want you to load it up on your hands on your palms and we're going to rub it into the panels of the car Panel by panel, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So let's get, uh, let's get this loaded up right now on my hands and let's just see. All right, so this is the very first attempt of manhandling the Ferrari. So, wow, this is actually feels really weird to do this because you know they always forbid you for touching paint with your bare hands. So it actually goes on pretty easily. I'm actually going to dig into this product a little bit more. See, I'm going to take some, I'm going to put it in the palm of my hands. It looks like we need more on there to evenly spread it. I mean, like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this. This is a new process for me. And the one thing is really cool is now I have the car in the garage and the panels 
are just a really nice temperature and it feels very therapeutic to rub the body of the car. And it's so funny because, you know, this becomes a totally different process. This is why I don't like ceramic coatings. I enjoy this. I enjoy the process of spending the entire day with the car, especially a special car like this. And as you feel it, you could feel the bulge of the quarter panel. You could feel all the design of the car. And you start to understand, you know, the design and the engineering of some of this stuff. And you really tend to appreciate some of these cars a little bit more than any of the modern cars we have today. And I'm all about the special experience, you know? And I don't know, this is, this is definitely cool. Definitely cool. Because you actually could feel every curve in the car. You could feel everything. And these cars were all handmade. These were hand painted. These weren't built with robots like we have today in the Ferrari factory. The Ferrari factory today is one of the most sophisticated factories in the world. It's a mega factory. It's unbelievable what goes on in that facility. So this is cool. I gotta say, this is definitely, this is definitely a first. All right, so here we go. We're just loading up some more product. This is pretty cool though. It actually feels good touching the paint at this temperature. All right, so I'm gonna get more product. So I don't know how much this container is gonna last as far as how many times you can do your car because I didn't really buy it for that. I bought it for the experience and I wanted to do something completely different to show you a lot of my detailing content, guys. A totally different process. So this is the coolest part of the car as far as design is down here. And you can kind of feel how this car is sculpted aerodynamically. And the Ferrari 355 was one of their first cars that they spent a lot of time in the wind tunnel, fine tuning the, you know, the aerodynamics of this car with the underbelly trays and all of this stuff. I mean, the air just goes in there and yeah, this is cool. This is definitely cool. And you know, it's funny, like by not using a wax pad, this guarantees that you're pretty much touching every little spot on this car. No exceptions. I'm going to go back here. Thing. So dude, this is such a wild experience, I gotta say. Really cool. Like that. Even over here, you could feel the bulge right here in the front fender. That's one of the coolest parts of this car. I mean, every every angle of this car is so stylized by Pininfarina. One of their best designs ever. The one, one of the ones that's aged the best as well. So look, I'm, this is like the Cyclo polisher. I'm using two hands. Yeah, this is really, this is really cool. I could do this all day long if I was getting paid for it. <laughs> but being it's, I'm not. I definitely think this is cool. I just hope my hands feel uh, a little softer by the end of the day. All right, so got the Zymol micro wipe and uh, we're gonna start back here. We're gonna see how well, this definitely is, you can feel it, it's forming like a, a waxy film and the container says don't let it dry in the car. So let's just see, ooh. Oh, this brings back memories. Yeah, I can see the pop already, the glow that this stuff gives. But this is one of those jobs where you're gonna get most of the product off and then you're gonna have to go over the car several times with the spotlight. Okay. And you can see it's coming off in the towels. So these micro wipes are decent. They're definitely not the best microfibers that I've used as far as taking off a wax or a sealant. But like I said, I wanted to kind of follow the system. I didn't want to deviate from what they were telling me on the phone. And this, this actually, this batch of wax was custom blended. It was special ordered. I had to order it. It's not something that was in stock. 
Wow, look at the look at the glow. Oh my god. Unbelievable. And that's the whole point of doing this. This is where like a lot of synthetic products today are just not gonna give you that that warm glow that you're gonna get from a red Ferrari with single stage paint. It's just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna show you guys the entire process start to finish. So I can just see there's definitely some residue. So I'm gonna probably go over this with uh, a Griot's Garage edgeless microfiber when I'm done. I uh, usually like to, when I wax cars, I like to do sections. I like to do one half of the car at a time and then I, I'll branch off, I'll do the hatch. This tailgate area, this is gonna be the hardest part to do. And we'll get some good money shots. We'll roll around the car with uh, a couple of different 4K cameras and we'll see how well it shows up on camera. But I think it's gonna be pretty impressive. So yeah, I don't know, these towels are made out of, made of rubber. They don't really stretch that much, but uh, I don't know. Not sure what I think of them just yet. Yeah, it's not hard to get it off. I think the biggest struggle is that the microfiber doesn't have a more aggressive tooth. And I think that's probably done for a reason because this is designed for single stage paints, not designed for modern clear coats or cars with ceramic coatings and all of that. That's why we have all the other types of microfibers on the market. So right now, my goal right now as I'm buffing this out is just to get about 95% of it all off. And then I'm gonna go over it. Problem is you spend all day doing this, you make the car look so incredible and you don't wanna drive it afterwards. <laughs> it's kind of a sin. But, you know, I drive all these cars and I maintain them and that's part of the kind of content that I show you guys. I don't just keep them parked and I don't stare at them, but staring at them and working on them it's actually part of the fun for me. This is a nice Saturday afternoon. I don't know, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, so I think these microfibers are pushing the product around a little bit rather than grabbing it off. Yeah, so I could feel it. So. Okay, now this is going to be the toughest part is down here to get in all these little nooks and crannies. Man, the little squeaks you're hearing, those are my sneakers on the epoxy floor in the garage. It's starting to build up a little bit of static electricity. Now the bottom of this car is all composite. This is not painted metal, this is fiberglass. And that's probably why it's gonna create a little static electricity, a little bit of a different surface. Yeah, I'm thinking about trying the different microfiber to see if it'll get more of the wax off just in one pass. It seems like this is definitely clogging up. We're starting to push it around a little bit. So let me just finish the front fender and then we're gonna wax the hood the bumper and we're gonna keep moving right along all right guys so I just grabbed a brand new edgeless microfiber towel from Grills garage because it's actually doing a better job getting all that little final residue off and it's super soft so this is not gonna harm anything and I'm just giving it a once-over with very very light even pressure all the way down go into here Carefully close the door. Okay. I think I'm gonna take my sneakers off because the squeak is bothering me. Yeah. Sneakers off.
So you definitely want to do this in the garage with good lighting. You don't want to do this in the direct sun. I think you're going to be chasing the removal process. And I remember that when I was a kid using this stuff, you know, the Zymols. Sometimes I learned by mistake. I did customer's car and I baked it in the sun and it was not easy to get off. And back then we didn't have all the fancy microfiber towels that we have today. So we had to just use the cotton terry cloth towels or whatever we had. Okay, cool. So step back. So that is the entire driver's side done. You can see that there. Wow. I tell you, for 26 year old paint, it looks absolutely incredible. Look at the glow on this car. Unbelievable. Absolutely incredible. So impressive. And on camera, you guys are going to see it. I mean, absolutely amazing. Awesome. So let's, uh, we're going to get waxed on the front hood, the front bumper, and finish up the job. This is definitely definitely cool and you have to have patience to do this this is not for the person that has no patience you have to and I'm filming this trust me I would prefer to do this without filming it alone maybe put some music on and just kind of do my thing you know all right so let's load up so you got to constantly keep loading up because you don't want to rub I could feel a little, it feels a little grainy it's probably the car Nuba, and we just got to break it down. But man, this definitely is pretty cool. Definitely beats uh, playing with glues and all the other chemicals that I work with every week. So I'm actually finally working with something that's not going to kill me. I don't need to wear a respirator or gloves. Let's get down by the emblem. This is the coolest part right there. Look at that. So I'm massaging. The Ferrari 355. Cool. All right, we're going to move over to the front bumper. These bumpers are fiberglass, so you got to go gentle, nice and gentle with them. You can hear them. They, they creak a little bit when you touch them. This is the coolest part right there. <laughs> the Cavallino. Okay. Good. All right. So let's move over to the other side of the hood. Rub it in. You're pretty much just using the weight of your hands to evenly spread the product so you don't have to like dig into it like you would with uh, a wax applicator. Pop up headlights. These were abolished because of safety regulations and we no longer have that so that died out in the 90s. And some of the coolest cars of the 90s were the Testarossa, the 355, the Acura NSX. That's some awesome cars back then. Okay. Let's do the corner of this bumper over here. A little dark on the floor so you know as the car's so low to the ground you probably can't get good visual but we'll get you good visuals when we pull the car outside that's where you guys are going to really enjoy looking at this thing on camera so i give you guys a good walk around so we're doing the front fender and another cool car the wax are like the old school Porsches, the 930s, the G-body cars, 964s, because the front fender has that, that really pronounced nose and uh, very similar to a 50s Corvette and early 50s Thunderbird, Fort Thunderbirds. And 
I've worked on a lot of those cars. Okay, I'll do up here. Let's load up some more. So I'm from looking at the yield of the container, I would probably say you could probably do your car maybe three times using this method. And in, you know, they did tell me you could use a wax applicator, but I don't know, why don't we just stick with the original plan? Of doing something different. The one thing that's really cool as I'm doing this is you really appreciate the design of the car. You know, I don't think I would want to do this on an SUV or a modern car. I think if you have a car that has a very unique design that every angle and proportion looks amazing, this really seals the deal and you maybe come to uh, appreciate that a little bit more. Okay, oh, I forgot to hit the bottom of the fender. So I'm going to stop that now. I'm going to clean my hands. We're going to start taking this off, and then we're going to finish up the uh, passenger side door, quarter panel, and we're saving the best for last, the rear hatch. And I think they're okay. I don't think these are the best. Maybe uh, it's a towel that if you wash them and used them a few times, maybe they break in. I don't know. Usually microfibers out of the bag usually perform the best, especially uh, the PFM towels that I use, and I use a lot of stuff from Gion and uh, they just perform really good out of the box. And for ceramic coatings, I primarily use the Gion purple towels for the removal process and final polishing. I don't use the PFM towels for ceramic coatings. Okay, so, yeah, you see, it leaves a lot of residue behind. And we're gonna, we're gonna knock that off real quick, hold on. So you guys could see it in real time. I'm looking at the viewfinder as I'm doing this. Now you probably could use some Auto Fanatic 007 Gloss Enhancer if you needed it, but you could see this is with the micro wipe and that's with the product still on there. So let me just grab the Grios Garage Soft Edgeless. If you get closer with the camera, yeah, you see this takes everything off. And the good thing is that the wax, the Zymol, is so slick that this long, plush microfiber just gets every little piece of residue off with very little effort. So you don't even need detail spray. You don't need anything. And you can see it there. So look at that. Step back. All the way back. And look at the difference. That looks freaking incredible. Absolutely incredible. Took my sneakers off. So we're going to go down here. So this is the process that seems to be working. Use the Zymol micro wipe and go over it with the Griot's Garage edgeless microfiber towel. Wow, static electricity. There's so much static electricity on all the composite body parts. So the front bumper, the rear bumper, and the bottom belt line of the car is all composite. It's not aluminum and it's not steel. So some interesting thing that I just want to share in this video. So this is all done. And it comes off easy. This, this towel, I think the combination of these two is pretty much my preferred method right now. Just using the micro wipe, that's not uh, doing such a great job on its own. So we're going to go here. And after I'm done with the front fender on this side, I'm going to switch out to a new micro wipe because this one's getting pretty loaded up. As you guys could probably see on camera, you hear that? <laughs> it's so cool. And the size of this car is really it really doesn't make this a, a, that long of a process, but yeah, this towel is getting so loaded up. We gotta change it out, I could feel it. Okay, so 
Leave that there. Yeah, look at this. Oh, it comes off like uh, unbelievable. See, like Colonite 915 and even like the 845 or a lot of conventional waxes that have solvent in it, these towels I think are terrible. They just don't have enough tooth to get the wax off. So you start to fight it. So this stuff, I, don't, I only use these towels when I'm doing waterless wash or some detail autofinatic 007 gloss enhancer on cars, classic cars or something like this, then it totally makes sense. But for other types of waxes, especially if you're gonna use something with PTFE, oh, this stuff, this towel is gonna to be totally useless for a soft 99 Fuso coat or something like that. So, yeah, wow. <laughs> look at the glow, I mean, how does it look on camera? Nice gloss, right? All right, so we're gonna go over to the passenger side fender. I'm gonna swap out this towel. We're gonna get another Zymol micro wipe. Just, we just want to get the gist of the product off. Now, according to Zymol, you know, they're saying that this product, being it's all natural, it's not a wax until it gets onto your paint and it gets oxygenated by the ambient air. So it's pretty interesting. But I'm going to tell you now, from feeling the way this microfiber glides over the paint and the glow of the red in the garage, my God, look at the reflection. It's unbelievable. You would never think that this car is 26 years old and it has single stage paint and it's all original paint. I paint metered the entire car and it paint meters between seven to nine mils and that is original paint because these cars were painted by hand. Now, a lot of these cars that are painted by robots, they will put down the bare minimum of paint to save money, especially Ford. When I miked the entire paint on the Ford on the GT350R. I couldn't believe that there were spots that were reading like, you know, two and a half to three mils on a brand new car. And I just could not believe that. But it's all about, you know, saving money. So you can see it there. You see the product, the yellow residue? Try getting it off. And whatever I get on the glass, I'll go over that with some glass cleaner, some foaming glass cleaner. Okay. All right, we'll go over it with this guy. We'll just get that off. But what's great about this is that you don't get that chalky issue in all the old weather stripping. I can't wait to pull the car out of the garage when I'm done and show you guys the final results. This is the coolest thing where you stick your hands in there for air intakes, the flying buttress design. And uh, they did away with that. The 599 Ferraris still have that and still one of the cars that I love. I wouldn't mind having a 599, but I kind of have my heart set on an F12, but we'll see. We'll see what the new year brings with cars. I'll be changing stuff around a little bit. But the 355 is definitely special. So far, I am enjoying the process. I love the product as far as the effect that I'm getting on the paint. It's absolutely phenomenal. Love doing stuff like this and seeing the results. But it's also a good car, you know? And that's the key, is to start with a good car. I think the plan is I'm going to take some lunch and come back and we'll finish the uh, 
the rear tailgate because that's the part that's got the most detail. Boy, all those little slats, and you got the grill and everything else in there. So. Yeah, these edgeless towels with Zymol, oh, that's a that's a win-win. It's a home run. This is the combination that's working. We're going to polish it up. I'm going to go over some fine details. We're going to pull the car outside, and the sun should be at a perfect brightness to get some really good shots and show you guys some walk-arounds of the Ferrari after it's been waxed with the Zymol Ital. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys. So back after lunch now... We're going to do the final component on the F355. It's the rear tailgate with all the louvers, and this is probably the, one of the coolest design parts of the car. So just getting my hands ready by melting the wax. And I got the garage door open now, and then uh, we're going to pull the car outside. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to show you guys the final results. But so far, from what we're looking at under the garage lighting, it looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. Probably one of the glossiest cars that I've ever had in this garage so just nice and easy it's actually really cool to feel all of these louvers the way they're pressed into this aluminum panel get to go around the emblem almost done all right we're back after a couple of minutes we let the Zymol flash a little bit and now we're getting it off with the Zymol micro wipe and then we're gonna go over it with the Griot's garage edgeless detailing towel which actually works perfect with this product I don't know it just seems like it's a perfect fit these uh, microwaves are decent but I think if I use the Griot's garage PFM wax removal towel it would probably do a much better job quicker but the great thing about using the Zymol is it's got a really nice aroma it's not toxic it doesn't have any fumes and it's just a really pleasurable therapeutic experience and that's kind of like why I'm doing it and why I'm showing it because you know that's why enthusiasts like us from all walks of life we enjoy detailing cars because it's a it's an outlet for us it's a way to relax de-stress and you know sometimes you know I'm always on the go and I'm always doing things quick and efficient and trying to save time but something like this this is a little bit more of a bonding experience with the car that you love or something that you built you know if it was a car you restored or something and it becomes a little bit more emotional and much more personal then, you know, just spraying your car with uh, an SiO2 topper or something like that, or, you know, doing a ceramic coating. Because, you know, like I said, I've done a lot of ceramic coatings on cars, and it's just not a pleasurable experience to me. You know, to do this without having to wear a mask, no gloves, uh, you know, you could do it indoors, outdoors. It's just a really enjoyable experience. That's it. So let's grab the Griot's Garage edgeless towel. And this towel is great. It's soft on the paint, really delicate. And uh, like I said, some of this stuff, like a PFM towel, I don't like putting that on the paint when it's dry, like on, on a car like this with soft original paint. Uh, you know, you always want to mist it with, you know, your favorite detail spray or like I use it with the Auto Fanatic 007 Gloss Enhancer just to make sure that those stiff fibers do not scratch very delicate paint. So for, uh, this edgeless towel is far safer going about this type of process dry where we're not using a liquid detail spray to get the residue off but this product is so easy to get off as you guys could see there absolutely incredible I mean the car looks so damn good 
It probably looks better than it did when it was new or whoever the first owner of this car was or caretaking it. But I tell you, you know, when the cars are well kept, it's very rewarding to work on them. It really is. When the car is beat up, eh, it's a little bit of a different story unless you're you know, doing a full blown restoration. But there it is. That's the rear tailgate of the Ferrari F355. I'm gonna, just going to hit the rear bumper real quick and we're going to pull the car outside for you guys. All right, guys, so we're at the home stretch. Just gonna give the rear bumper a little bit of love and attention. And I gotta tell you, this is, this is definitely a lot of fun. This is really cool that I still can't believe it took well over 30 years for me to do something like this with my bare hands because I was using Zymol, you know, in the early 90s on all my cars. But this is something a little different. Yeah, no, this is definitely cool. This was fun. I definitely think it was worth, you know, spending the 160 or whatever it cost me to get the wax. And then I spent about another $30 for their HD cleanse product, which works pretty well. Okay, that's it. All right, so just wipe my hands and we're going to get this off. And it's great. I got the Zymol all over the Black Challenge grill and no issues with staining whatsoever. So that, that is definitely awesome. So you don't have to worry about taping the car up and really going crazy because some products, you get that residue in there, you're going to have a hell of a lot of headaches trying to get that off. Okay, so yeah, more static electricity from the composite rear bumper. This is all original paint, 100% on this whole entire car. That got all the main sections off. Now we're going to go over it with the Grail's Garage Edgeless. And this actually brings out the gloss and that shine. Oh man, this car looks good. Yeah, this back bumper needed some attention. It was getting a little hazy. That's it guys. So we're going to pull the car out of the garage. So you guys got a good visual as far as how it looks under my garage lighting, you know, with my epoxy floor and all, everything in here. So it's reflecting naturally on the color tone and the shift and the light. But other than that, it looks absolutely incredible. So I'm going to pull the car out and uh, give you guys a final conclusion of this video. And I want to thank everybody that took the time to watch this video in its entirety because this was fun, this was a new process, and very enjoyable. So let's pull the car out right now. guys so the Ferrari F355 is completed and I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a walk around and uh, this was a really fun Saturday I spent the entire day working on the Ferrari doing the prep early in the morning with the Autofanatic waterless wash and the Zymol HD cleanse the results speak for themselves and if you guys have 4k on your phones your computers or your browser you're gonna really get a lot of depth and a lot of the color intensity of how well the Zymol Ital worked on the Ferrari PPG Rosso Corsa single stage paint. Now guys, don't forget, this is not a brand new car. This is a 26 year old Ferrari that has been hand painted with single stage PPG paint. There's no clear coat on this car. This is a well preserved classic Ferrari. And uh, like I said, this process was really fun to actually touch the car, feel the car, it becomes very emotional, very stimulating uh, to do something completely different and I've never done it before. So. Thanks again for watching this video in its entirety. Please subscribe to the Auto Fanatic channel and stay tuned for more automotive content. And I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care, guys. So please, please
Oh, 